locked up and they won't let him out. No, ASAP Rocky, as we all know, has been in jail in Sweden for almost three weeks. He has not been charged as of yet, but we do have an update in his uh, just him being locked up in his case or a parent case in which there is a chance he could be charged with aggravated assault. Uh, an assault that, uh, to be honest with you, from what we all seen on camera, it looks like ASAP Rocky was in self-defense mode, right? There's video going around of these two guys literally just verbally assaulting and following ASAP Rocky and his team in Sweden. Multiple times, ASAP Rocky and his manager and bodyguard, they said, yo, can you leave us alone, all right? We don't want no problems. We don't want to fight y'all. We don't want to go to jail. And again, there is video afterwards that sees ASAP and company finally saying, look, man, y'all pissed us off. We about to put hands on y'all. But from everything I've seen, it looks like ASAP Rocky and his, and his homies and his team was just trying to get the hell out of Dodge and not have any smoke, any problems. But it, it really doesn't matter what I say or what you say. It only matters what the Sweden judge and prosecution believe. And as of right now, ASAP Rocky is in a whirlwind of trouble because the, the guys, these two white guys that were, to me, the uh, aggressive in this situation in Sweden, one of them for sure will not be prosecuted at this time. That was announced earlier today. The Sweden courtroom, they've ruled that he was not the aggressor. In fact, Swedish prosecutors are saying they believe this guy was in self-defense mode trying to fend off ASAP Rocky's bodyguard after being pushed and lifted by his neck. Now, I do want to point out there, uh, the video that we have from Sweden, most of it is from ASAP Rocky. I, he put it on his social media account after the attack. A lot of it is from ASAP Rocky. So maybe we are missing out bits and pieces and maybe Sweden has that evidence. But for right now, what I saw was ASAP Rocky in self-defense mode, not these other guys in self-defense mode, but Sweden has made it clear that these guys will not face charges ASAP could still potentially face charges as he remains locked up. So now we bring in race, right? Do Does ASAP and his team wanna play the race card? Uh, Sweden don't play that over there as they've made it clear that if ASAP or anyone in his team dared to say he's locked up because he's a black rapper, that he would then face six years in prison. They're gonna try to throw the hammer at ASAP uh, for making them look bad and making them look racist. Sweden claiming that we, we take that very seriously. Uh, we, we love our foreign relationships. We love the United States. And, and they're saying, nah, if y'all, if ASAP comes out and says he's being discriminated against, we're going to throw the helmet at him for real. If that's his defense, we're going to throw the helmet at him. Now, I don't know legally if they can do that, but I also don't know Sweden laws that well. But ASAP and his team did make an announcement. And maybe they're being coerced to say this or not. I don't know. Uh, they did say we will not be using race as our defense. So a lot going on. It is worth noting that over the weekend, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian has had somewhat of a relationship with, with Donald Trump over the last few months. She's been able to get a couple people free uh, through Donald Trump, being that direct line of communication, celebrity to celebrity. Uh, Kanye and Kim Kardashian did reach out to Donald Trump uh, over the weekend. Trump did make an announcement uh, saying he would talk to Sweden officials. He did. He tweeted out he just had a very uh, good call with uh, a very high person in Sweden who assured him that uh, American citizen ASAP Rocky will be treated fair fairly. Likewise, uh, Trump said he assured that ASAP was not a flight risk and offered to personally vouch for his bail or an alternative. Um, at this time, uh, Sweden has still not let ASAP out. As a matter of fact, uh, reportedly, they took it offensively that Donald Trump and the United States would get into uh, their affairs. All right? Again, I don't know how that will affect ASAP Rocky's case, but they're looking at it like, yo, don't, don't you try to come over here, flex your money, uh, America, use your president to try to get this guy out. If he broke our laws over here, you don't, we don't care how much money he got. We don't care who he is, how popular he is. We want his ass, all right? That's really where we're at with it right now. I'll keep you guys up to date. Yeah, I don't understand how these dudes who are clearly in this video 
bare minimum should get charged where ASAP Rocky gets charged, if he gets charged at all. But the fact that they're already off the hook when there's video evidence showing that they're aggressive and following ASAP Rocky around, like, yo, how are they let, they're let go scotch free? Like, I don't understand that one at all. Good luck, best of luck to ASAP Rocky. He's gonna need it. Like, he's fighting for his foreseeable life right now in Sweden. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Remember, if you have not done so, head to my Instagram account at Ferrell Reacts. I'm doing another $100 giveaway to some very special Lucky Ferros. All you got to do is follow Ferrell Reacts, like any post that I put out in the next few days, and comment the number 100 under any of my posts that I drop, and you're in the running. Somebody going to win this money, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.